Why are your files missing? What's good, Power Director peeps? Saturday is here, one more again. And today, I'm gonna show you how to find those missing media files in Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you wanna learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Here we are in Power Director. Missing media files can be a super huge pain in the tuchus. You go back to a project, you try to open it up, and you get the dreaded missing media message. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly find missing media and prevent this stinking message from showing up in the future. Let's search and recover, people. Let's search and recover. When you save a project or you do save as, what that does is it creates a PDS file. Now, a PDS file is simply a set of instructions telling PowerDirector where to look on your machine to find the audio, video, and other assets that you use in your project. It then tells PowerDirector where to place them in your timeline. If you move your files around to other locations on your computer after you saved a project and you click on the PDS file to open that project, PowerDirector looks where the files were previously. But if you move files to anywhere else on your computer, if you rename the file, or if your drive letter changes, it's not gonna be able to find those files. So I'm gonna show you a few examples. We're gonna start off by changing the name of a file and see what happens when I try to open it up using a PDS file where we save the project. So I'm gonna go to File Explorer, and I'm gonna go to the location of the PDS file and the files that are used. So I'm gonna rename this file. This is something you do not want to do because I already saved the PDS here. Now, because I changed the name, it's not gonna be able to find that file. So when I click on it to open it, dreaded message, I hate you, I hate you. Basically, it's telling me, hey, the media file that uh, we're looking for, you can't open it. Uh, it was moved or it's missing. I renamed it. So it's telling me it's trying to look here. It's trying to look in this location. It's trying to look for a file that's named intro, outro, corrected, and it's an MOV file. So I can try to find that file by clicking on browse. If I know what I renamed it or if I know where I moved it, I can find it because by clicking on browse, it's gonna open up File Explorer, and then I can go to the drive or wherever I moved it to, and I can go ahead and select that file. So if I say, hey, I'm gonna use this one, and click on Open, it'll go ahead and open it, and it'll use that file that I renamed or moved. As long as I know where it's at and I know what I renamed it to, it will go ahead and use that file if I browse to it and I find it, okay? So now let's say I go and I close all of this out. Let's go ahead and clear all of this. And I go back to File Explorer where I was at and let's say I rename this and take that number one off to make it back to its original name. If I try to open this PDS file now, it goes ahead and opens it because now it's using the same name that I used when I created the PDS file. So now it doesn't think the file is missing. So don't change names of your files after you save something. If you do, it will not be able to find them. If you know where it's at and you know what you renamed it, you can click on browse and browse back to that file and it'll open it for you. Now, Let's go ahead and see what happens when I move a file. So I'm gonna go back to that location. And this time, let's say I move this file. I'm gonna cut this. And I'm just gonna paste it here, it doesn't matter where. I'll go back to that location where I was at originally. And now that that file is missing, I move the file, you can move it to another folder, another drive, whatever. If you move a file and then you try to open that PDS, it 
dreaded message once again. Telling me it can't find it. It was moved somewhere. Once again, I can browse. If I know where the file is, and go click on it and it'll open it. So once again, you don't want to move those files, people. So another issue you might have is if your drive letter changes. So if you add a new drive to your machine, whether it's a flash drive, external, internal, whatever, sometimes the drive letters on your machine change. If your drive letters have changed, then you're going to run into the same issue because the script and the PDS file is going to be looking for the wrong drive letter to find your files. So if this happens to you, I'm going to leave a link in the video description that tells you how to change your drive letters on a Windows 10 machine. So the lesson here, don't change your file names and don't move your files around after you have saved a project. Make sure the names stay the same and make sure you leave them where they are. You might be thinking, Malik, is there an easy way around all of this crapola? Why, yes, my friends, there certainly is. The way that I get around it is by using the pack project materials option. It's going to solve most of the issues that we discussed. So I always do that whenever I am done with the project. So if you go to file, there's an option on here called pack project materials. If you choose that file, then what it does is it gathers all of your project assets into a self-contained project folder. This project folder can be moved anywhere you wish, even to other drives, but just make sure that you move the whole folder with all the assets inside of it. Okay. Also, you still can't rename any of the files. Don't do that because you'll still have the same issue, but at least if you want to move things around, you want to rearrange, reorganize, whatever you can move a folder of pack project materials together and you won't have to worry about the PDS being redirected to find the files. Now I'm going to include a video card as well as a link in the video description on my tutorial on how to pack project materials. Last thing I want to talk about is how to recover lost files. If you're editing, you're moving, you're grooving along, you're doing your thing and the program crashes for whatever reason. Sometimes you may not be able to open it up and get back to the project that you were working on. Before that happens to you, I advise you to set up your computer for success so that if it does happen in the future, you can recover your lost project. The first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you change the duration of your auto saves. So power director auto saves your projects based on how long you want it to wait between those different saves. If you go up to preferences, you can go to project. And down here you have an auto save option. It says auto save project every, and I recommend using five minutes. Of course you can do more than that, less than that, do whatever you're comfortable with. Once you pick the minutes that you want, you go ahead and click on okay. So now that you got your auto save set up, you know that if it crashes, you'll be able to pick up at least within the last four minutes and 59 seconds of the last save. So you know you haven't lost everything. Now you gotta be able to find those auto save files. So I'm gonna show you how to find them. The first thing you need to make sure is that you don't have hidden files and folders on your machine. So if you go down here to the search box and you type in hidden, you wanna go to under settings, it'll say show file extensions. If you click on that, it has a little black box around show settings. So if you click on show settings, it'll give you the option that you're set up for. So here it says display the full path in the title bar. And then underneath that, it says hidden files and folders. The first option is don't show hidden files and folders. We want to select show hidden files and folders and drives. So make sure that that's enabled and then click on okay. And then you can close this out. And now you want to go to the location on your machine where all the auto saves are. So if I go to file explorer, 
I'm going to go to my C drive. Then you want to go to users. You want to go to your name. You want to go to app data. You want to go to roaming. Cyberlink. Power Director. Your version of Power Director. Cash. Auto Save. And you find all of these auto saves that are listed on here. So I can go ahead and click on this one. Media located. If you like what you see, I'll leave some links to buy Power Director in the video description. I know you want more Power Director love, so be sure to click on these videos to watch more of my content and smash my cartoon face to subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below.